Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations a squared plus ab is equal to 25 and b squared plus ab is equal to 10. We need to find all possible values of a and b. So, let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1, this equation equation 2. Now, from equation 1, equation 1 is uh, a squared plus uh, a b is equal to 25. From the left hand side we can factor out a. So, a as common factor and in back left a plus b is equal to 25. And if we divide both sides by a, this implies that a plus b is equal to 25 over a. Now, from equation 2, equation 2 is uh, b squared plus ab is equal to 10. From the left hand side, we can factor out b. b as common factor and in back left, b plus a is equal to 10. Next, b times this b plus a can be written as a plus b is equal to 10. Now, we replace this uh, a plus b with this value of a plus b 25 over a. So, this equation will become b times 25 over a is equal to 10. This uh, b times uh, 25 over a can be written as uh, b over a times 25 is equal to 10. Now, if we divide both sides by 25, this implies that uh, b over a is equal to 10 over 25 and this implies that uh, b over a is equal to 5, 2 times 10 and 5, 5 times 25. So, this will become 2 over 5 and if we multiply both sides by a, this implies that b is equal to 2 over 5 times a. Now, we recall equation 1. Equation 1 is a squared plus a b is equal to 25. Equation 1 is a squared plus a b is equal to 25. In this equation, we replace this b with this value of b 2 over 5 times a. So, this equation will become a squared plus a times in place of b we write this value 2 over 5 times a is equal to 25. Next a squared plus this a times 2 times a will become 2 a squared divided by 5 is equal to 25. Now, we can write the denominator of this a squared 1. We take LCM of this 1 and this 5. The LCM of 1 and 5 is 5. When we divide this 5 by 1, we get 5. So, 5 times this a squared will become 5a squared plus 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times this 2a squared will become 2a squared is equal to 25 and this 5a squared plus 2a squared will become 7a squared divided by 5 is equal to 25 and from here we multiply both sides by 5. So, this 5 will be cancelled out with this 5 and uh, this equation will become 7a squared is equal to 25 times 5 125. 
Now, if we divide both sides by 7, this implies that uh, a squared is equal to 125 over 7. And to find the value of a, we take square root of both sides. So, this uh, square will be considered with the square root and at left hand side we are left with a is equal to plus minus square root of 125 over 7. Next a is equal to plus minus this is square root of 125 over 7 will become square root of 125 divided by square root of 7. Now, this is square root of 125, square root of 125 can be written as 5 times root 5. So, this will become a is equal to plus or minus 5 times root 5 over root 7. Now, to rationalize the denominator, we multiply and divide this expression by root 7. So, this will become a is equal to plus or minus this 5 times root 5 times root 7 will become 5 times root 35 divided by root 7 times root 7 will become 7. So, this is the value of a. Now, to find the value of b, we recall the equation. Recall this equation b is equal to 2 over 5 times a. Recall that b is equal to 2 over 5 times a. So, we replace this a with this value. So, this will become b is equal to 2 over 5 times plus minus 5 times root 35 over 7. And this 5 will be considered with this 5 and we get the value of b is equal to 2 times root 35 over 7. And first we found the value of a is equal to plus or minus 5 times root 35 over 7. So, the final set of solutions of a comma b is equal to the first pair is 5 times root 35 over 7 comma 2 times root 35 over 7. And the second pair is negative 5 times root 35 over 7 and negative 2 times root 35 over 7. This is the final answer of this problem.